What's up, guys? It's Chris. Welcome back to VH Business. Or welcome, first time, either one. Okay, so um, the other day, if you guys were watching Facebook, you see me kind of posting like a little ranting post. The other day, um, I got a question, and I mentioned this guy in like one of my last two uploads from a dude named Banks Alvarez on Snapchat. Um, so a little bit more backstory before I get into the main topic here. Uh, like... The reason why I didn't answer right away is because my first, my first, you know, thought was like, man, this is you know, kind of a fucking stupid question, you know. And it was a lazy, stupid question. So I'm like, oh, man, you know, I don't, I didn't like it. I didn't like the question too much. But then the, the more, as you know, a lot, a lot of times where I see you guys this question, and I sit back and I think about it for a little bit before I answer, because sometimes my initial response isn't the best, and uh, and it wasn't the best in that situation. Um, I sat back and thought about it for a little more and it wasn't the way he asked the question was stupid <laughs> The question itself wasn't necessarily stupid. So that's why I'm saying I sat back and I thought about it for a minute And I was like, all right So the question was I'm paraphrasing along the lines because snapchat erases the fucking conversation So I can't go back and check it um, He was asking me like um, I Got he goes I have a uh, H22 pistons on H23 rods uh, Can they fit in an F22? If not, how can I make them fit? Now, the whole how can I make them fit is what kind of like got got to me. I'm like, dude, like, because for, for one, like, honestly, you can do quick Google basic search that fucking question and get some response to it to see whether you can do it or not. But then I thought about it for a minute. And I was like, all right, well, let me look at this on a broader spectrum. Let me look on this on how we make, uh, how we check to make sure uh, what parts fit with what, what works with what, and if not direct fit, how can we make it work? All right. Now, I'm not the big fan of the whole make it work thing because if you go back to my fucking uh, older video insert here uh, about the <coughs> fuck D16 rods or LS rods on D16 pistons, <coughs> I was like, um, it works. <coughs> But that's one of those work, working things where you have to make it work. And I don't enjoy the fact that you have to make things work. Because when you have to make things work, usually you have to machine things. That, that's extra expense. And 9 out of 10 times, that is not worth the money or effort. All right. But, so, we're going to go with the obvious steps first. How the fuck do you check if things work as they are? All right. The first thing you want to do is check the obvious. It's very obvious. And that's bore and stroke. All right, uh, stroke for to see if the rod is long enough to work or or short enough to work in some uh, situations, and the second thing would be for the bore would be to see if the fucking piston even fits in the goddamn hole. No size of the piston, no size of the bore. If they're the same, it works. Now the second thing for the piston you need to check to see if it works is uh, piston to valve clearance. You need to know the deck height. You need to know the piston dome height. And see if it works. You need to see if it's too low, so if compression isn't too low, and you need to see if it's high enough or not too high, where you'll make a uh, piston valve contact and blow up your shit. All right. So those are the basic things. The basic things you check if you want to know will this work with this. The second thing you want to check with the rods, and my bad for skipping this, is um, the journal size. You need to know if that fucking if that uh, rod will bolt on to that fucking crank. So if the rod bolts up to the crank. If the stroke is right, then the rod fits, and then the, then the rod works. Now, if the um, if the piston fits in the bore, it's not too low compression, not and or, or the dome height is not too high, then it works. Now, the second thing you need to work if you're like in this case where he's mis mismatching H22 with uh, with H23 rods, you need to see the uh, wrist pin size. You need to know if that wrist pin is going to be able to go through that rod. Um, now. On the making it work, you can always machine out the bushing ends or, or machine out the the um, small end of the rod to make it fit the fucking uh, the wrist pin and, you know, redo the bushing. So that's one way you can make that work. Uh, another way to make the piston work for the block would be to bore over. <coughs> and to, to, if it's too big for the bore, then you bore over. And... Um, and maybe if the piston height is too high, you could use a thicker head gasket. Now, or if it's too low, you could do machine work. 
uh, to, to uh, you know, to bring down the block and bring down the size of the head. But these are all things that I think are kind of wasting time and money when it comes to making things work. Um, now, I know sometimes it's because people have like aftermarket parts. They have forged this and forged that. Like, I really don't want to waste this. Um, if you if you have those aftermarket parts and you really don't want to waste them, then it's nine out of ten times if it's not a direct bolt on, a bolt up working affair, you need to go out and buy the fucking parts that it goes with. All right, I guess um, <laughs> this is the second time we've had some like little catchphrases, catchphrases from uh, from the channel. I know there was a whole bunch of BB controversy uh, a month or so back, and now we have this. <laughs> now. The reason well, I'll t to touch on for you people that haven't seen the Facebook post, what I said was like, um, it's a lazy thing for this guy. I mean, I didn't answer him directly, and he left me a sarcastic message like a day or two later, like thanks, and then he cut me off. And when you, when you unfriend somebody on, on Snapchat, they can't message you. And I was actually I was gonna send a, a message explaining what happened, but then I kind of felt pissed off that I even had to, because. Um, <sighs> It seems to me like what this guy did, he saw some of my videos, you know, got my social media info, decided to ask me directly, and didn't follow the channel. Because I didn't answer him in a, in a direct PM back, but I thought it would be better, you know, hey, you know, to acknowledge the guy, to give him a shout out in one of my newest uploads. And for him to say that sarcastic shit and bounce, it means he hasn't watched the new uploads because there's no way he would have fucking missed his name. Now... The way, why that aggravates me is that you're going to take the time to come to me to ask questions, get mad when I don't answer you right away, but you're not even watching my fucking uploads. So you're not even fucking contributing to the channel with a fucking view. You know, so like, you want from me, but you can't even give me the decency to go and watch my fucking content as it comes. You know, so it's like, you know, one of those help me help you, motherfucker. I wouldn't be doing this shit here if I was getting no feedback. If I had, like, nobody watching my shit, then there's a good chance I probably wouldn't be making it. I probably would have made videos for a couple months and then, you know, never fucking done anything if I would never had any views. Uh, it never would have continued. So, I got no problem with helping you guys. No matter how big this channel gets, I got no problem with answering. Uh, if it gets too big for the volume that come in that I physically can't answer it anymore... Then I'll fucking have an assistant jump in at some point in time. We're fucking years away from that ever happening. So you guys have me, my full attention, you know, as long as I'm awake and I have time to answer. And if I don't answer you right away, um, you know, then watch the new uploads or watch my Facebook posts, watch social media. I might give you a shout out there. And then, like I said before, too, if I fucking don't answer you in 24 hours, it's probably because your fucking question was stupid and it's somewhere in the channel. It was either stupid or it's somewhere in the channel and you need to go watch my videos. And, uh, and how you can double check to see if that's the case, ask me another question that's, you know, about that, you know, like, hey, is this something I can go watch somewhere? And I'll be like, yep, I'll tell you, you know, as I, I'm not in the, I'm not in the business of ignoring you guys. This is why I'm here is because of you guys. So just don't be a fucking twat. Don't be a fucking banks. All right, guys, that's, that's, it. that's all I got for today. Um, well, maybe, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all for today. Like I said, I'm going to try and do an upload every day this week instead of doing, uh, multiple days of two or three uploads. Um, all right, guys, I, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, just keep posting on social media to see for updates and shit like that, guys. It's Updates are coming. You know, there's like this. Nah, I can't make a video for every single thing that happens. And I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't want to watch that shit anyway. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching, and peace.